It's a beautiful day in Fairfield. We are here with our brand new flip. That's all coming up next on Flipping in Heels. We are back with a new episode of Flipping in Heels. I am Olivia Barrett, your host. I am here with my partner in crime, Becky Larson. And this is a new flip that Becky just acquired last, how long ago? I acquired this on Wednesday. So on Wednesday. Two days. <laughs> two days. <laughs> so very new. And how did you get this? Was this on market, off market? I got this on the market and I actually bought it from a flipper. He oh. bought it off market to flip and then didn't have the manpower to get it done. So he flipped it to me and now I'm gonna flip it. <laughs> <laughs> We're all flipping in heels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about this house. How much did you pay for it? I paid 259,000. Okay. Um, it's located on a, it's, I like the street. It's old, it's charming in Fairfield, probably built in the 1950s. And I have a budget of about Forty to fifty thousand for repairs. I paid two fifty nine. Okay. I have a budget of about forty to fifty thousand in repairs, and I'm hoping to sell it for three seventy five. So into it for about three three ten. Yeah, but with holding costs and closing costs, I'm expecting a profit of about thirty to forty thousand. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Great. So let's take a look through the property. Tell us what you're going to do to it. And, and I kind of want to get your input on that too. So. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> So you're seeing it while I see it. So let's go check it out. We are in the living room right now and it appears that there is original hardwood floors here. Yes, I'm not sure that these can be saved though. What do you think? I mean, they're bad. They're pretty bad. Um, we've saved bad floors before, but this one, I mean, it has some cupping happening um, yeah, and I lots of staining. I think we might just budget wise would be less expensive to go over it agreed agreed okay. that's what i had thought i love 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 the fireplace and the way it's sitting in the corner i think it adds some charm and character and so i'm going to come in with a nice beefy mantle which i always have the guys do, okay and um, really dress it up maybe retile the hearth the yeah, I would retile the hearth, but I would keep the brick. It actually oh, looks really 100%. nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna keep the brick. Spray paint the inside. Yep. Add some logs, some staging, and call it a day. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. Um, this wall, I'm guessing kitchen is on the other side of here. Yes. Are you opening this up or are you keeping it? I didn't plan on opening it up, uh, but I wanna get your thoughts on that. Uh, maybe we could open it up, I don't know. Well, we have, Dining room here, right? Which is a good space. See, the problem with opening up the kitchen is you're going to lose a lot of the right cabinet space. You're going to lose a lot of space in here. Your only area for uppers then would be two. You'd have one here and one here because you got window on this side. Right. And then this would be gone, so you would have all base cabinetry. It's kind of the hard thing though, because especially in this price point, people love open concept and they're yes. willing to give up cabinet space for it. Can we put well, in a pantry to make up for it? Um, you know, I, I actually hadn't even oh, thought about taking huge. that wall out and it's a great idea. But that brings me to this area in here. I mean, this is a huge laundry room. So I think this is massive for a laundry room, especially right? in a house of this size. You do have built-in cabinetry right here. It's actually kind of cool retro. We can clean it up and do, yep. you know, a new liner inside and just, um, I didn't know if it was wood or metal, um, wood so we can paint it. And I would actually take the kitchen and expand it this way. I think it's a great idea. It's not something I thought of. My first thought was to put another half bath in here. Oh, that's actually a great idea too. Yeah. And you can even make, that's a bedroom? Yeah. <laughs> so when I first, when I first uh, saw this house, 
when I first came to see this house, I was by myself. Oh, and good. so I was really nervous because when I come to look at a house by myself, I'm always afraid I'm gonna run into squatters or something. So I came in, I looked at the bedrooms, I came into the kitchen, laundry room, and I went back out in my car really quick because I just, okay, I've seen it. I got in my car and I went, wait, where's the third bedroom? <laughs> So I had to come back in and look for it. So yeah, this is the third bedroom that what used to be the garage. Side note, the new house that we went to yesterday, um, we went to go take measurements so we can do the, the plan. Yeah. And there was somebody in the house. Oh, I okay. opened, the, all the doors were shut to the bedrooms and I went and opened, we haven't closed on the house yet, we'll close on it within two weeks. I opened the door and there's somebody sleeping on a chair, like sitting up on the chair with a hoodie over his face. I had been calling out, hello, hello, is anybody here? You know, <laughs> nobody said anything, nobody was supposed to be there. Scared the <laughs> out of me, you know, Pretty. can't say that on, on TV, but yeah, I, I was, but we just kept going. We measured the whole house and couldn't, the guy never woke up. Oh my god. We just goodness. didn't go in that room, but yeah. He was so probably undressed. Sometimes there are people. Um, they just yeah. go to do their dress I think sometimes. I just was, no, he was, yeah, and, and he was, related so um oh. he wasn't a squatter oh, got it. but um wasn't supposed to be there but anyway so, so what i big room it is and it's permitted oh and good it, it used okay to be in the garage and so i want to on oh the outside, that's why it's here yes. it used to be the garage and okay so on the outside the garage door is still there and i want to stucco it and put a window here okay the room will make so much more sense right so this could be your master, because I'm imagining the age of this house, those are probably small bedrooms. Mm -hmm. So if you did that, I would say, make this where you already have your current door, uh -huh. make this an ensuite bathroom, and then put your, your door now into the room here. And put a bathroom here. And put a bathroom right here. Then you have a 3-2. What do your comps look like at a 3-2? Probably three set, pro probably up to 385. So, so it's a matter 15. of it's a matter of um, the cost to put in another bathroom. So I've got to run the numbers. But you have plumbing. Mm -hmm. You have know, you But then, guess, then where's but the washer and dryer gonna go? You'd still have room to do a washer and dryer right here, and you actually wouldn't need to relocate the water heater either. Um, you would, you, no, I guess you don't have to relocate the window. You would have to have a different exit to the door, but you have another exit to the door in that bonus room, right? Yes. Okay. Those are good ideas. It's worth looking into and seeing if you can maximize your profits that way. Mm-hmm. With the raised foundation, what do you think you'd charge, like seven grand? It's where you put your ironing stuff. <laughs> It would be one of those ironing boards. I know that's what I was out. hoping for, but still, it's a place where you set the iron, put your little supplies. It's so cute. <laughs> Keep it. In. Why we don't do <laughs> stuff like that anymore? So let's go check out the bonus room and see if there's another exit out, and see if we can solve that. So let's okay. go check that out. By the way, so cute. I love them. We'll try to see, but also. <laughs> I mean, it honestly looks like somebody spent a lot of time doing that. And I think it's really cute. I mean, if you did like subway tile or something, just to try, I don't know, maybe, maybe. And that's super cute too. Little spice wrap. Spices. <laughs> that's so clever. It is. Somebody's home. Oh, and paper towel wrap. Is that what that is? Is that what that is? I'll bet you. <laughs> Built in paper towel. Oh towels. my gosh, that's so cute. <laughs> You could probably put more like towels hanging here. Maybe that's what these are for. Yeah, dish towels. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's old. <laughs> so this is a really neat bonus room. I'm assuming not permitted. Not permitted, okay. not part of the space, but I'm gonna make it into it's going to be great extra living space. It is. We're going to make it look like a real room. You know, sheetrock, take the paneling down, do the sheetrock, put in regular windows. And I think it'll be a really nice uh, extra living space. I think it's going to give us more value for sure. 
I do too. Even if an appraiser is not going to give you value for it, they might give you additional space value. Yeah. Have you checked permits to see whether or not anything was pulled? Uh, the, we know the third bedroom was permitted. Okay. But That's, not that. But not that at all. Yeah. It's kind of neat because it's like a coffered look in the ceilings, which is neat. I mean, that usually is in high-end homes. You have just a different version of it here. Yeah. But it's neat. Okay. Um, are you keeping the paneling? No. Okay. Sheet rock. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I think it's great. Are you going to do carpet or carry in laminate I'm into here? carry on some hard flooring in here. Okay. I don't know what yet. Possibly tile. What? So again, you have this bonus room, and if you were to add another bathroom, full bath, and make this a 3-2 with this bonus room, do you think that you could reach like three ninety nine? Not in this neighborhood. No? Okay. I think if I could reach three eighty five, dollars um, I would be thrilled. Okay. Good. Um, I'm confident about three sixty five, dollars depending on how much I do, $375, $380. I was just at another house in the neighborhood and somebody's, uh, it's a rental I have, which is just a few blocks over. And somebody next door is flipping the house. And I was surprised that they were putting it on, on the market for 385. Oh. And well, that's great for more you. More power to you. Because <laughs> that'll Let's set your next yeah. highest comp. Yeah. Are they a 3 1? They are. Do they have an additional? No. It's nothing, the floor plan's nothing like this. It's a similar age of home, though. That's really great. They're gonna set your comp. That's fantastic. Yeah. Love it. Um, what are you thinking about outside? Looks like you have some concrete. Yes. Shall we go outside? Sure. <laughs> you thought that was a spider web? I did too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my what about the roof? The roof looked the good. Roof, the roof is good. Um, we have a roof report. Okay. There's about $1,000 worth of uh, repair to be done. Oh, that's not bad. So we'll take care of that. Okay. Um, what about windows? Are you doing windows? Absolutely. Okay. These are original windows and yeah, they need to be replaced. I saw some cracked up front. Yeah. Is there, there's no, this is a road behind here? It's an alley. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah. You can do RV access on this side. That's huge. I sure could. Still can't get $399? No. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So that window obviously <laughs> needs to be look at that. You did a nice molding around your window here. Looks like someone was using this as a bedroom Very at one nice. point. Yep, there are some repairs to be done. Oh yeah, this is a great, I mean, I don't think anybody's using this as a garage, but this is fantastic. Yes. A workshop. And, and somebody could also turn this into an ADU, additional building Oh yeah, units. absolutely. Could do that. Yeah. And it looks like. They've become more lenient with those permits recently. Look that. Oh, that water. Look, we have a chicken coop. Oh, that is so cute. People really like to have chickens recently. Have you noticed that? Fresh eggs. I'm not going in there, is that a but back there? It looks like a it's trough a or no, it's a bathtub. It's a bathtub. You know, these are great. My uncle has one of these that um, he has like an old um, clawfoot tub, and he uses it for, at parties. They, they put ice and they put all the drinks in it. It's nice. great use. So that's we could stage it like that. We put could. those fake ice cubes in there, like we did at 43rd. So I've got to decide how much work I want to put into that detached structure. Please keep the horseshoe. But look, a well pump. Oh my that gosh. I think it's being held up by those rocks. Oh, there's access. Huh? Check that. There is already RV access. Yep. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool. Here, put your hand underneath it and I'll pump it. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> Something's prevent. It's neat looking though. It is neat looking. It looks like we got a little bit of repair to do to the fence. Check it out. This ends up being a much bigger house, I feel, than it is on paper. Uh-huh. There's a lot more to it. Yeah. Oh my god, mine too! <laughs> <laughs>
replacing this anyways, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> oh! The secret hiding spot. It is the secret <laughs> hiding spot. I don't know, a blanket or something? So I'm not check sure. out the remodeled bathroom. Well, that's a plus. Except for there's no toilet. The toilet's behind the door. Uh, <laughs> it's like you're missing like a key component to a bathroom. <laughs> it's a private little toilet. Oh, okay. Look at how nice the This is cute. The light and everything is just really nice. This is neat. You have more space to hang. That is neat. That's a neat little. You know what I really like about this house is it has such a nice homey feel to it. It does. No, it really does. It has a good vibe. It does. Good if you can get past this, If you can get past the smell of the urine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for that, I think, I mean, it's not that bad. It's, my, it's mainly not. in the living space. Yes. I think that new flooring and paint will solve that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Wow, look at that lino, matching the red carpet. Oh. <laughs> and there's your cutout for your, your crawl space, yeah. It's so amazing to me that like all of our inspectors end up being these big guys and then they come into these spaces and they actually get in there. It's incredible. And they put on their jumpsuit and they crawl down They in just there. do. It's, it's, I, I, it's hard for me. I would never be able to do that. No, claustrophobic, yeah. yeah. Didn't Victor had something where he got stuck? Victor got stuck, he got wedged. My husband got wedged under a house on his chest. Like he was, the house was on his chest and he couldn't get out. He was down there for about an hour before he finally wiggled his way out. And ever since then he can't go under houses again. Yeah, I, that would be terrifying. Scare me. Well, I think these are pretty easy. Yeah. Are you gonna strip off the paneling or are you just gonna paint it? You know, it kind of depends on what happens in the budget. Once I get going, you know, you add things, so you find out things cost too much and right. so you take away and add in different areas. So I'm gonna wait until I, I haven't gotten an actual bid from a contractor yet and I'm gonna start on that next week. Okay, great. Well, I like it. I think this house has so much potential to it. Um, and what are you thinking time-wise on this? I am thinking get it on the market in March. That's great. Four months. So you have a little bit more than the three month time frame. So well, with the holidays yeah. and everything. That's great. It's a good time. To I thought I'd let the guys take off for Christmas. That's nice. <laughs> Especially Joe with the new baby. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks well, good. too. So this was our new flip in Fairfield. We'll keep you posted on the progress on this one. Thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next week on Flipping in Heels.